Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Pragya and today I am making this video specifically for all the third and final year students that how should they prepare for NEET PG examinations along with their normal MBBS curriculum. Okay, because a lot of you were asking me to make video about that. So yes, uh, without any delay, let's get started. First of all, I would like to tell you that according to me, third year is the best time to start your preparation for NEET PG because I did uh, start my preparation in second year, uh, but honestly, it did not help. All the uh, subjects that I had covered, I had to watch those videos again because the notes were outdated and uh, I the notes were really childish. Like uh, I had uh, written uh, the meaning of words like apoptosis and all in the top and a very, very small details like what does neoplasia mean and all of that. So uh, the, the notes got really, really childish for me as an intern. So I think that might happen to you and there might be uh, a few updates also. And most importantly, you forget many things. So I had to watch the videos again, like in 2x, but yes, I had to. So I think third year uh, is probably a good time to start your preparation. But even if you're in final year, uh, no need to panic. You can start now because first six months of internship also you can use. Uh, last six months is sufficient for preparation if you have done the initial work properly. Okay, so yes, uh, let's get started. I'll uh, keep this plan really simple, really common sense plan. There's nothing too complicated about this. Uh, so yes, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that you should not jump into shortcuts at this time. Focus on making your concepts. There are way too many things in the market right now. There is first aid, there is BTR, even I tell you, everyone tells you to uh, use those resources, but it's not for you if you're still in your third and final year. Bohat time milega uh, revision karne ke liye, wo sare plans ko achche se follow karne ke liye, but uske liye pehle tumhare concepts bohat strong aur achche hone chahiye, taaki us revision ka best output nikle. So this is not the time to uh, take shortcuts, focus on making your concepts, okay? So how will you do this? Uh, about that, I want to stress that I feel that you should read standard books. Even now with all the long uh, detailed coaching notes and videos that uh, all kinds of coaching institutes are, uh, you know, rolling out. I think that reading standard books has its own uh, advantage and nothing can replace that. Because I'll tell you, you're reading such difficult text to try to understand it, you're reading it twice. Then you're uh, making notes. You know, you're filtering out things from that, you're making notes, you're making diagrams based on that. And then you read that resource again. So reading standard books and making your own notes out of it is a long and tedious process. And in this long and tedious process, your brain does a lot of active work. And by doing that active work, you make sure that whatever you have read, whatever concepts you have made is retained somewhere very safely in your brain. So in your internship, even when you read those uh, revision notes, which are extremely short and concise, you'll immediately figure out what it means and what is the logic behind it because you have spent your time clearing your concepts and working on that. So I think pre-made coaching notes or videos will never be able to replace a standard book that you have read yourself, that you have worked hard on. Okay. So yes, that is the first thing. And yes, uh, I think I experienced this myself too. Like I experienced this live. I had not uh, read my first year standard books properly because I'm a first gen doctor. So it took me my whole first year to figure out uh, how to read uh, in MBBS, how to study, how to make notes and what uh, books you should read. So I made many wrong choices and as a result of that I somehow gave my exams and ended that year. I started reading standard books properly from my second year. Uh, when I joined DAMS, uh, Deeksha ma'am uh, was there that time in pathology and she uh, told us, uh, taught us properly how to read Robbins and that's when I started reading Robbins and I realized that it's so interesting. These books are really interesting if once you learn how to read them. So I had not read my first year probably and my concepts are so bad. My first year concepts, anatomy, physiology, I had to work a really, you know, I had to work too much on these subjects uh, during my preparation, NEET PG preparation, but still I'm not so confident in these subjects. These are actually my weak areas, but people who have, you know, uh, done these subjects properly, they end up doing really well in these subjects. They're really important to score. Anatomy, uh, physiology, biochemistry, these used to be really weak. I somehow uh, improved my physiology and biochem, but anatomy, uh, it took a lot. Even after I did the same things in these things that I did in my second, third and final year subjects. I read uh, uh, DAMS notes, I read uh, first aid, I read DVT, everything. But in the subjects that I had worked hard during my prof exams, uh, second year, third year, final year, I, uh, you know, the journey in the coaching, uh, this 
in turn here was really uh, was really smooth some subjects like ent or ophthal or fmt i didn't even have to read my main notes in these uh, subjects i was already scoring good based on my previous concept and knowledge so that is the power of reading properly in your prof exams and i think if i had read uh, first year also very nicely then it would have improved my rank way better than what i got okay so this is the first thing that use these ears to build your concepts so how will you do this i have a very simple three step plan for you it's nothing it's not rocket science it's just common sense so first tum standard books padoge number 1 read your standard books uh, work on them spend time with them okay first now second after reading your standard books you can immediately watch the videos of that subject or uh, you know read your notes if you already have notes very quickly because the concepts of that subject is fresh so you won't have to spend that much time you can uh, fast forward the videos because you already know most of the things and uh, you can uh, re revise your notes in uh, you know faster speed it will be easier for you so first step is your standard book second step is your notes after that just after that and third step is the mcqs of that chapter of that subject just after that so it's simple uh, concept book standard book padho उसके बाद उसके नोट्स पढ़ लो उसके बाद उसके एमसीक्यूज बना लो एंड देन लीव इट यू आर डूइंग दिस ग्राउंड वर्क फॉर योर सब्जेक्ट एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन योर इंटर्नशिप एज अ थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट और फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट यू डोंट नीड टू फोकस दैट मच ऑन गिविंग जीटीज और सोल्विंग कस्टम्स सी इट विल हेल्प यू आई एम नॉट सिंग दैट इट विल नॉट हेल्प यू बट इट्स नॉट दैट इम्पॉर्टेंट योर इंटर्नशिप ईयर इज मोर देन इनफ टू प्रैक्टिस मेनी मेनी जीटीज एंड सोल्व मेनी कस्टम मॉड्यूल्स एंड डू ऑल दोज थिंग्स do all kinds of revision courses i think this uh, three step plan will work better in your prof years you'll do good in your prof also and you'll uh, do good in your competitive exam also theek hai books notes uske baad mcqs now what extra that you have to do extra mein tumko alag se roz time slot nikal ke rakhna hai one or two hours for your first and second year subjects side by side karte jao if you're doing a long subject in your third or fourth year course then you can start with a short subject in this time start with fmt uh start with uh, biochemistry uh when you're doing an easy subject then either you can do anatomy or pathology so that totally depends on you aise karke parallel mein try to finish as many subjects as possible in your third and final year don't panic too much but yes be in active mode try to finish all these subjects uh in your first and second year subjects if you are a third or final year students tab first or second year subjects mein aapko standard books nahi padhna hai because you don't have time to do all of that first and second year mein you'll just see your videos or the notes that you have made read those notes if you have a doubt open the video and see or open the book uh, of that area and see after that follow them up with mcqs of that topic and a uh, beach beach mein you can give a subject wise test or something like that it totally depends on you but this is the bare minimum that i want you to do okay third or final year just be year mein ho try to read it standard books okay because even if your final year sub suppose you haven't read your standard books properly till your third year but even final year mein agar charo subjects ko tum bahut strong kar lete ho standard books padh ke it will add a huge chunk of marks to your score okay so it's never too late read those books and previous years ka you can just uh, go the old way notes and mcqs theek hai itna kar lo and the last advice that i want you to uh, that i want to give you is to stay as simplified as possible ठीक है देर आर वे टू मेनी स्ट्रेटेजीज एंड वे टू मेनी प्लान ऑन यूट्यूब एंड इट माइंड गेट कंफ्यूजिंग बट द बॉटम लाइन इज एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट ऑल्सो दैट यू ओनली नीड टू थिंग्स टू क्लियर एनी एग्जाम एंड एंड दीज टू थिंग्स शुड बी इन परफेक्ट बैलेंस द फर्स्ट इज कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द सेकेंड इज अ गुड स्ट्रैटेजी तो जब तक ये दोनों चीजें हैं यू डोंट नीड टू फॉलो एनी एक्स वाई जेड स्ट्रैटेजी इवन माइंड फॉर दैट मैटर you should stick to what you are doing as long as it uh, it's fulfilling these two sections in balance okay so that's all uh, you can ask any more doubts that you have in the comment section and please do subscribe to my channel thank you